Oh, y'all, this been on Zoom, huh? <laughs> How y'all doing? My name's Mario Harrison. Uh, yeah, I'm old. <laughs> Nobody's sitting here. Yeah, so I'm, I'm still. None of us are all. I'm still. I'm, I'm, I'm still fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking of how how fast you look, I mean, you look. You obviously came in in great shape. Brandon and Sean talked about that. How do you feel? And how is the first week or so here, especially today, going for you? Um, I feel amazing. To be quite honest, um, since I didn't come to like OTAs, but I came back from the camp. I had to get my legs back on me. And, um, I feel as though, you know, um, I was moving fast, but I didn't have everything putting, I wasn't putting everything together. But now since we, you know what I'm saying, where we at now, I'm back. I feel real good. Let's go back to draft weekend. Um, what was your immediate reaction when they go defensive end in the first round and then turn around into the second round and do the same thing? What were you thinking at that point? That's amazing. You know, um, you know, I don't want to play 50 snaps a game. You know, 50 snaps a game. And these guys that can, you know, play as well. And when you have guys in a, you know, young guys that can contribute the same way you, you do, you know, uh, they're what the team needs. And, um, you know, I'm here to coach those guys up, you know, and play my role, whatever my role is on this team. And I'm going to play the best of my ability. And like you said, when they drafted the young guys, I'll have it for the team. To follow on that, Brandon said, I think maybe as soon as the draft had ended, before maybe it was even over, that you had already reached out to them to welcome them to the team, to say congratulations. Yeah. Um, that idea of being that veteran leader, I mean, some guys could maybe feel threatened by that. Yeah, more, more definitely, man. At the, end the, at, at the end of the day, you know, those young guys got to show up the same way I do. Every morning, they got to brush their teeth. You know, they got to put their pads on. They got to come out here and dominate a motivated man who's trying to feed their family. But if you don't do that, you won't be playing. So at the end of the day, they got to prove themselves. You know, I ain't just going to get it to you. I'm going to coach you up. You know what I'm saying? Put you in the right, point you in the right direction. But at the end of the day, you got to do it for yourself. Sean's quote this morning was, it's a grown man's league when you put the pads on. Yeah. You want to know what I mean? Bone no bone. You know what I mean? No. That means you got to dominate the man in front of you. And if you don't, you're going to get dominated. Is it something like thinking about today, you've been doing this a while, when you put the pad, I mean, are you mentally getting ready for a day like today? You know, um, like this is my 11th training camp. At the end of the day, I know these guys gonna come hard. So I know I gotta elevate my game no matter what. Young guy, veteran guy, they gonna go hard when they put the pads on. So a day like this, I know I gotta wake up with the right mindset and that's to play low and dominate the man in front of me every play. When you're, when you're with a young guy like that, are you more of a vocal leader or are you more of a lead by example type of guy? I do them both. You know, um, the reason I do them both because, you know, some guys, you know, they like, they like veteran guys to lead by example, and some like for you to talk to them. So I do them both because you don't know how they're they going to intake it, how they going to take it. You know, so um, I do them both when I'm out there. You mentioned 50-plus snaps is not what you want to do. Brandon had even mentioned maybe you had a, a bigger role that, that didn't that wasn't putting you in the best position last season. How, how did maybe playing more than you're used to affect your game? Um, I know they brought me in to pass rush, and that's what I'm good at. But when when you woe down, you ain't gonna have the energy. You need it take energy to rush. So, but if you don't have that energy, you can't rush as elite pass rush in this game. I never seen a, a tired pass rusher go out there and kill it. It don't work like that. So if you can bring a, a guy in there, you know, that can do the thing that you do, but to keep each other fresh, and that, that's what you need. Still, you know what I'm saying, one guy playing so many snaps, then when it's time to, you know, end the game or two minute drive, you'll have the energy to close it out. And that's what I didn't have, all the energy that I normally have to close the game out. Mark, how much more acclimated do you feel in Buffalo now that you've come to an offseason where you're kind of back to normal? You know, everything's not virtual. You're not just meeting guys for the first time when you show up to training camp and whatnot. Um, it feel good, man. Uh, and I'll honestly, it feel good to, you know, really to be in front of you guys. You know, um, when we were doing everything virtual, it was, it was different. It was so different. Um, even when I was doing means. I barely can hear you guys when y'all was talking. I know you guys probably can hear what I was saying as well. But, um, you know, to be back in front of everybody, you know, to be able to, you know, really just touch each other and do everything normal, you know, it ain't all the way normal, but for what it's worth, man, I'm loving it.
John t said today that he, he thought that you were in, in the right mental space. Not to say that maybe you weren't last year, but it, is there something to that in terms of, you know, last year was challenging for everybody in so many different ways, but... Yeah, um, yeah last year, um, my mental one, it wasn't all the way there. You know, um, the year before, um, 2019, my baby brother got killed, and um, it was heavy on me. It was real heavy. Um, and I'll, it, it fucked my mind up. Just to be honest, my mind, it, it was on football, but it wasn't on football. You know, I, um, I was letting it control me. You know, I, I wanted to feel me, but it reversed on me. It kind of like, you know, had me down all the time. You know, I always was, still was a happy guy. A lot of people ain't know that it was heavy on me, but it was. So that was the main thing that would kind of, you know, had me out of it last year. But um, this year, like, like they say, man, um, time heal wounds. It ain't so much time. You got to... You will never get over it, but you just gotta learn to live with it, and that's what I'm doing now. So I'm like in a better mental state right now. You played, you played in Carolina with Epe. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, can you kind of just talk about him and his, his development <clears throat> comes into this game and this league so raw? Man, so Epe is this um this young strong guy that didn't play you know on um, little league football, middle school, high school, not even college. But when I first met him, man, I was like. You know, just picking the head and see, bro, have you ever played football? He was like, no, I never played any football. I'm like, none whatsoever? No, man. So he did, um, like, the, um, the London program, the, um, the Europe, Europe football program, and made it. And um, one thing I can say about him, he's very coachable. And um, he wouldn't learn. And I taught, him, I taught him this one move that, you know, he kind of, he perfected. And he do it almost better than me. It's the long arm, and you, you grab, you know, some outside hand, and you bend it back, and he perfect the move. But um, by a guy, you know, not playing football as long as I did and can get out there and do everything I do, probably can do it better. You know, um, you know it shows tremendous, you know what I'm saying, what kind of character he, he got. So um, he very coachable. Yeah. In that sense, I mean, could you project what he did last year with five and a half sacks? Could you have projected when you first met him that he, you know, that he would yeah. be so productive? Most definitely, because I played with him and I know what he can do. Did you see this man body? All he need is coaching, and he'll be, uh, he'll be a beast. He are a beast. Yeah, I project. It. So you guys are having fun on the sidelines. What was it? The pads? What is it that brought the energy level? Well, um. You know that song right there, uh, I'm a cute doll, Omega Sci-Fi. That's my fraternity, and uh, it's the best fraternity in the world. So when that, when that song come on, Atomic Dog, you know, I got to loosen up a little and show, you know what I'm saying, show these cats around you, I still got it. So that's what I did. What's yeah. it like? Just the, the group that you guys have here, like, there's so much familiarity. I mean, Eric Washington, you oh, yeah. oh, yeah. star now back playing with him. Yeah. I mean, what's it like to take what you guys built there and now kind of have a piece of it here? Um, it feel good. It feel good, cause um, playing with the old guys, I know what they gonna do, you know, cause I've been in the trenches with them for a while, so I know what they gonna bring to the table, and um, those guys mix with all the newer guys that once we blend everything together, which we doing a tremendous job with, bringing this thing together, you know what I'm saying? Sky's the level, man. Sky's the limit. How much did you guys miss Star last year? A lot. I missed out, man. Yeah. Stood out to you about uh, Boogie Basham and regular sets of Boogie. Um, I stole um, Boogie. Boogie, um, a bigger frame. You know what I'm saying? He real powerful, but he ran like a DN. So speed to power, you know, he used his hand. He going to dominate whoever in front of him every time. And Greg, long guy, you know, Amazon, you know, a, a Godzilla. You know, you got to look up to him all the time. So when I'm talking to him, looking up like, dang, bro, you a big guy. You know what I'm saying? So. Looking over to him and, you know, seeing how he's setting the eggs and rushing and using all his length, it's tremendous. Like, he's, he's coming off the ball, just punching, you know what I'm saying? And the guy barely getting out of his stance. I'm like, damn, but you got long arms. You know what I'm saying? You got to use those to your advantage. And um, both of those guys are very coachable, and they can be a bitch in this league. How have you seen AJ and uh, Vanessa kind of develop from this time last year to now? AJ is ready. Hands down, AJ is ready. The things that he did last year, you know, he did he did good last year. But the things he's doing now, watch out for AJ. AJ a mother, mother. 